Okay, Derek and I are going to salute in. If we, we picture a few different things here. In this scenario, what we're going to do is we're just going to practice. I'm just going to have him stay stationary. You want to think of it as a punch to the neck. Then I open up the hand and I circle around the head this way. I punch the neck and I circle around the head that way. That's the first drill. We just kind of get used to punching. Do I want to go to the inside and pull it down? Do I want to punch and go from the outside and pull it down? If I'm thinking about he does a cross grab, so he does a grab too, I want to kind of shoot the hand down, and that will cause him a lot of times to lock out that elbow, right? He kind of resists right there. But I don't pull back. I push it down. Then I'm going to go to the inside of my body, right? And then once you're in here, then we have a nice turn. I can continue the motion here. I can grab him, and I can turn the hand up and pull him into that strike or punch. If he does the other hand, I punch down, that will give him resistance, so he's fighting me. If I push him this way, he's automatically gonna create resistance this way, and typically he locks out his arm, right? So I, I don't, I don't wanna fight him from here. So I don't pull back because that's what he wants me to do. I punch forward and I open up the hands. I'm going to the inside of my body or the outside of him or her, and once I'm here, then I can grip it Turn the palm up, so that puts him in an awkward position. Now you're ready for goosenecks, you're, look, you're, you're going for digits, the fingers and the thumb breaks, and then you can pull him in and do a strike or a kick or an elbow break or whatever. So let's just review that part. So I grab, well first he, he's just gonna punch my neck and go around right side or left side of the head. There's one way, he punches and goes around the other way. Good, he does the same thing on the other side. And really, we're kind of doing the same motion. Now we're going to do that same motion. So instead of punching my face, he's punching down toward the groin level. He's going to either go from inside outside or outside inside. Right now, we're just going to that break. So he punches down. He goes his inside, my outside. He pulls, turns my hand around, and there's the pull grab. Right? You can add from here. We're just breaking down the first form of it. Then he grabs me again, but instead of me punching down and going to my inside, his outside, I'm going to go this way. So it's this direction here. And it's almost like this hand here is gonna push, but it slides up the top part. But his position on his hands, there's no power in this grip. So I just have to pull up here, and then there's multiple strikes from there. He goes here, punch down. Last time I went to my inside, which is this direction, his outside. Now I'm gonna go to his inside or my outside. It's already going through the thumb side because his hand is weakest on the thumb side. He only has one thumb holding this position from escaping that way versus three or four fingers holding here. Punch inside to outside, this hand opens up like this, and I just pull straight in, there's multiple strikes. I do it to Derek, I grab him, this time he punches down, but now he's gonna go opposite. Yep, he goes there and pulls back, because I'm already in this grip position. I'm here, he punches down, good. He just pulls and slides, and really it's basically this motion here, this motion here and pull in, or this motion here, this motion here and pull in. From the side, you have your punch, you open up, you go to your outside, to your inside, grab and pull, or punch inside, outside. That'll release it right away, and then pull, and then you have your strikes from here. Um, nice part about that is if he grabs again, right? Let's just say I punch, and I just bring it up to the outside. Now we're in reference position. He'll tend to let go and he'll just end up in this position and then we can go into any number of our drills from there if we chose to. He grabs my wrist. If I want to build up into reference position, meaning I want to be on his backside, it's safer for me. All I need to do is do the inside to outside that's here and he'll either let go or we'll continue the same drill and I can do the same drills or he can do the same drills. So I grab him, he releases and goes in a reference position. So you punch, so punch the groin and then rotate inside, outside, and then do poxal, dx chewy, that's all up, so good, and we switch sides. Now I grabbed him, he punches down, he circles outside, inside, then we're in reference, and he can pin, punch, grab, and do whatever drill we choose to do from there. So in the mok jong, the wooden dummy, you might start with that low center, put your hand here as if they grabbed it, push down, come around to the top part of the outside mok jong arm, and then go into your sequential drills from there. So a little bit of practice, you have to know the, the, the finishes to add it into it, but the idea is if you wanna just practice by yourself, you're here, you punch, outside, inside, pull, 
punch, either a diachichui or a ping chui or a chui, either one, it doesn't matter right now. Open, outside, inside, palm up, which is the grab and back here. Punch, open, inside, and circular it here. So when you punch it here and you go to the inside, the elbow bends because the elbow bending adds that power. It adds more of an elbow rotation. And then you just bring it back to center. And then you can practice each one and practice those drills. Salute.